Yo guys, what's going on? It's your boy Kilroy. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing another how-to kind of guide video for Generation Zero. So, um, yeah, so in today's one, I wanted to go over how to take down mm, a harvester, like a bit more efficiently than I kind of first did. So, like, I'll get a, see if I can get a better viewpoint. I'm like a ghillie in the mist over here. No, nah, um... So like, as you can see, so we've got two harvesters in front of us. Um, and I'm sorry about the hum. It's just what the uh, the experimental 50 cal does. So just uh, bear with me if you can hear it. <laughs> All right. So right in front of us, we've got two harvesters um, uh, machines. In, yeah. So this one that I'm aiming at over here in the crosshairs is a military class. And then the one behind it is a Phoenix class. You can tell by the, uh, the dull color scheme with the red wires. Whereas this one's got the camouflage for the military, obviously. Um, I wanted to go over like the um, the components, like how to kill them more easy, like more more efficiently, especially like because right now I can just unload this fifty k uh, the uh, fifty uh, BMG rounds into it and destroy them relatively easy. But like coming from someone who's only played this for about two weeks, um, I honestly was so nervous to actually try and take on one of these harvesters or uh, the tanks, which we'll look at in another specific video. But um, like if i just done a bit of research like you can make it so much easier like it's not daunting like so we'll take a look at components realistically because that's all you really have to focus on don't just shoot the fucking thing like you want to shoot specific things like right now where i'm aiming at the crosshairs on this legs on his legs the two big legs right on this big piece here you can shoot the armor off and i can go ahead and i'll probably put up like a little diagram or something of um each individual component that you want to shoot. So yeah, so right there where I'm aiming at the crosshairs, that's where you want to shoot the armor off the leg. Now, if we move towards the back, we have this big square looking, well, it's square from this side, but it's actually a long rectangle box and it has little cylinders in it. That's actually the um, the fuel cell storage right there. You can see there's little fuel cells in there. That's another thing you can destroy. That's like a critical hit spot. Along with these uh smaller rectangle fucking boxes up here which they're actually the missile pods and again i'll chuck a uh, little uh graph up on the screen or something and i'll highlight each individual in uh, kind of speak sorry into each individual component um and yeah so once you've destroyed those two mainly and then shot off the armor at the front switch to like an automatic weapon or whatever you've got and then you just want to shoot like all up in his face up here and that's going to do the maximum amount of damage and he's going to go down pretty quick you're going to drop him like a sack of potatoes um obviously when you um from like a beginner's perspective one that's pretty a pretty daunting thing to have to try and do and so it's actually kind of hard to get behind them and destroy the fuel cells so you have to get kind of up close and personal like right now i can take this guy out with the uh, the 50 cal from a few hundred meters away and, he, and like i won't even get spotted but like you have to get quiet yeah up close and personal um and it's just something you're gonna have to get used to especially until you get like experimental weapons or whatnot and you can take them out much more effectively but yeah for the time being with what you guys have got just focus on the key components and you should be able to take um the harvesters down relatively easy now it's i don't want to sound i don't know how to say but harvesters are the easiest to take down sometimes i prefer taking down harvesters compared to hunters i i feel as though the harvesters are i don't know they have more weak points if that makes any sense like you could legitimately shoot um the rocket pods the um his fuel cells and his legs and he's dead like within a few shots like it's pretty it's pretty nuts but um just give it a go see what you guys think this is just personally from my experience playing the game how i prefer to take them down um and to be honest up until i got this um sniper my play style was very much running gun like very up close very personal um which obviously right at the start didn't pay off when i've only got like a pistol like a little crappy shotgun or something but um but yeah definitely if you've got an automatic weapon like a little uh, machine gun or something ak whatever you guys have got um uh, even an smg just do your best to try and destroy the fuel cells, the rocket pods. You can even shoot the, the the rocket pods. You can shoot first from the front. You don't even have to go from the side. 
Um, then again, from the front, you can shoot the uh, the two armor plates, and then you can see if you can run around him and uh, shoot the uh, fuel storage. Because these guys are pretty slow to turn around. You just have to be careful that he doesn't actually gas you, because he does have the area of effect gas cloud that he pumps out. So just uh, just be mindful of that. But honestly, other than that, that's that's pretty much my tips and tricks for um, taking down the harvesters the easiest way possible. This is again just my personal opinion. Some people might uh, differ. Uh, it was just what i could think of that helped me uh for my play style which was very like i said was very fast paced running and gunning it wasn't very like where i am now sat sat back with a rifle kind of taking them out but yeah so that pretty much goes for all classes of harvesters as well and to be honest it kind of goes for like components wise it kind of goes for every uh, machine you come across they all have fuel cells you they all you can all shoot their weapons disable their weapons um, a lot of them are weak to the legs and stuff, so you can kind of take this into, um, into well, across with you into other categories as well, so for the hunters, the runners and whatnot, because we'll see if we can find a runner. Runners are the exact same, like, oh, sorry, these uh, hunters. Hunters have the exact same. They still have the uh, fuel cell on the back. They still have a tick pod. It's 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 all really the same, just bigger and better, I guess. But yeah, guys, so um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching this far if you made it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the, uh, another how-to video. Take it easy, guys. Peace.